Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 51 of Direwolf20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles Let's Play series, where I've been doing all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, I've been, let's see, uh, making sure my LP is full, and uh, I, I replanted, Oh, we already have some fully grown crystals? Really? You're already full? That's awesome. Give me the crystals. Guess we might be getting back into Astral Sorcery today. Your buddy Dyer. How do we do? Uh, purity 55, 94. Ooh, I like that a lot. I like the I like the purity 94 crystal. Uh, that's 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 awesome. Uh, let's see. That's right. We can't really see them when they're in here. Well, they kind of can, but we can't. So purity 94. That's the one I want. Pretty sure that's the highest purity that I've got. Right. 78, 94, 74, 55, 73, 89, 53, 53. 80. Looking good to me. So there's your 94 purity. That's pretty good. So as a reminder, with Astral Sorcery, when you grow your Celestial Crystals, their stats randomize. So it doesn't matter what the stats of the white crystal is when you drop it into the pool with the Stardust. It, the Celestial Crystal you get out will be totally random, right? Um, size is increased by making the Celestial Crystal sit in a pool of um, Starlight, right? So Starlight Crystal... Put the celestial crystal in over time it'll absorb the starlight the size number will increase cutting is increased by putting it on the grinding wheel and you put the celestial crystal on there you grind it it reduces the size but increases the cutting right so you can basically bump those two things up purity is the harder one to to, to increase so your goal should be to find a pretty pure crystal uh what happens is you you put the celestial crystal into a pool of liquid starlight and you keep growing it until it's full grown and then you let a full-grown crystal sit in the crystal starlight pool, and it'll absorb the starlight. And there's a random chance that's relatively low, but not too low, that it'll eventually, eventually, it will double, right? And that's what's up. So we're going to want to set that up today, because uh, we've got some liquid starlight. Uh, fluid placer is what we probably want. Uh, that would be the, the easiest route to go, and that's pretty straightforward. That's pretty straightforward. We can make that happen very quickly, right? So a fluid placer, right? We're going to want a couple copper gears. We're going to want uh, a bucket and a basic coil. So we want some iron. That can't be accurate. Oh, I know what's going on. Just a visual bug. I was like, that doesn't make sense. We have more iron than that. Cool. And then a bucket and some stone, which maybe... Do we have something in here that might substitute for stone? Skystone might. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, does that work? No, we definitely don't. And we're also going to need three palace crystals. All right. So here's what's up, right? Boop, boop, boop. Three of those and stone. So we should have maybe some cobblestone. We have marbled cobblestone. I wonder if I can just use that. Like limestone will work, but we're pretty low on that stuff. We're surprisingly low. Tell me this will work. Yeah? It looks like the answer is no, actually. Well, yes. No, the answer is yes. So we've got six now, and that's perfect. Good, good, good. So we give that a minute. We'll have enough to get going, right? So uh, here's the deal. Uh, between episodes, I didn't do a lot. I got uh, my Canthal heating coils. That was a quest for some reason. Uh, it didn't really lead anywhere. Uh, needing to increase the heat in your blast furnace. This is necessary to produce like the resonating gem. Oh, okay, cool. So do you like go somewhere? Where do you go? Like, how do I how do I put that? What do I do with you, Canthal heating coil? I have no idea. So if I want to make the resonating gem, it's a combination of aquamarines and starlight compound, which I got to work on. Uh, between episodes. It's really simple. It's just three appetite, a mana glass vial, and liquid starlight. I think we've made this before. Uh, and that gets me two starlight compounds. You can also, by the way, make it in the crafting recipe, but it's a little bit more expensive if you do it that way. So it's better to do it in the carpenter. You basically get double the starlight compound per liquid starlight, right? Um, so to use this, we need 2000 heat. So how do I install Canthal heating coils into the industrial blast furnace? That is a super good question because I don't think I can put them in machine upgrades and I don't seem to be able to put that there. 
So the quest is saying, hint, right click with four cantho Oh, ha ha, ha 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 ha. There you go, sweet. Where are they sitting? I have no idea. Wow, that's draining some heat. Wow, that's draining a serious amount of RF. Holy cow. Nobody panic, but that is a lot. Is that helping? That's not helping at all, is it? <laughs> that's hilarious. That's a hilariously large amount. We don't even have the speed upgrades in that, dude. FYI. We don't even have the speed upgrades. That is some serious business. But we get resonating gems and we get platinum. So that's cool, right? Um, nice. All right, so it's two Starlight Compound per Aquamarine. All right, so we'll do that. Um, and this will just take a while, right? I'm gonna actually put you back on. How long, are like you actually still running? Yeah, you are, nice. I have no idea what the RF per tick usage on that, but it's a lot. <laughs> I'm not worried, it'll be fine. Um, so speaking of, are you done smelting things? Yay, liquid placer, sweet. Where'd my lapis go? Did I, did I put that away? I am such a derp sometimes. Sweet. Fluid placer, check. Okay, we'll put this platinum away. And then we've got our fluid placer out here. So what I'm gonna do is that. Real simple. And there's your liquid starlight we've got a little bit of. We're gonna want more. Definitely gonna want more. Uh, but if I put that in there, boom, you should be good. And then I should be able to drop this guy in there. And what'll happen is he'll just automatically place fluid blocks whenever he can. So um, first off, we don't want our magnet to do that. That's bad, right? Ring of magnetization, no, right? So having the celestial crystal collecting starlight in that pool, right? We can see the blue particle effects. That means it's doing something. In a few moments, it'll absorb that starlight and uh, the size will go up the liquid starlight will disappear, the fluid placer will place another bucket, and then it'll keep happening, right? So we're gonna wanna start looking at a little bit of automation around that stuff. Uh, and we'll probably use integrated dynamics like we did in the Enigmatica 2 series at some point. We're not quite there yet, but probably soon. Um, the other nice thing that resonating um, gems do is you can use them to create a decent amount of starlight in a light well. Um, I think they're the best starlight creator and what's interesting is basically your recipe to create resonating gems is just starlight if you think about it right so aquamarines resonating gems right these are easy to make we've made them before um the the starlight compound it's really just appetite and liquid starlight i think we have a lot of appetite right Actually, maybe not. Eh, we have a decent amount, but that stuff's not hard to come by, right? Once we find it, we find it, we're good, right? Like, I remember there was some over here at some point and probably a few other things. Also, uh, I'm flying over here because I think this is where I have my miner set up. Where did I put my miner? There you are, buddy. How's it going? This thing's been doing, uh, he's been mining again. I've been moving things around. Sweet. All right. So that's where we're at. And I think uh, Astral Sorcery is where we're gonna head to today because I came up with a really interesting idea while I was thinking about, all right, we've got access to Astral now. What should we do? Uh, here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna explain to you guys what my goal is and then we're gonna make it happen. Does that sound cool? I hope so, because that's pretty much what's up, all right? Uh, how many of these do we need? Oh, beautiful. Joxum, huh, and Basalt? Okay, ba boop ba doop and that and the loot bag, which gives me pyrothium dust, okay. Do, do, do. Okay, so here's my plan. What if we got the Astral Sorcery book and looked at rituals, right? Which I think we should be able to do now, right? Because we're, we're in chapter four, which is attunement. We did that, right? Um, or was that chapter three? Is Constellation chapter four? I think Constellation is chapter four, yeah. So at this point, we have the capability to do a few things. One, we can make enhanced collector crystals, which is awesome, right? We can make collector crystals and enhanced collector crystals, right? Uh, so that's super cool because it's gonna make it so that we can collect starlight a lot better because the only thing holding us back here was the resonating gems and we have those now. So we can totally make collector crystals. Using enhanced collector crystals would be even better. The other thing we can do now also is rituals using the ritual anchor. Right, so uh, ritual angler, are you you look like a pretty standard recipe. Nice, and we can do rituals with constellations. Now the Avidus constellation um, gives you regeneration, and it also 
uh, f causes flowers and plants nearby to grow a lot quicker. While nearby, crops flourish and grow at an accelerated rate. A rather good accelerated rate based on my testing uh, between episodes. So here's my plan. What if we combined that, you ready? With mystical agriculture, right? We could totally jump into mystical agriculture because we're, we're definitely short a few resources and having resources by mystical agriculture would be kind of cool. So maybe we can set up like a mystical agriculture farm that's powered by the astral sorcery uh, ritual to help grow plants quicker. And I think that's what I want to set up. So, because I've never done anything like that and that sounds fun. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so step one of that process will be to increase the size of this crystal, right? So we've already used a few buckets of liquid starlight. And if we pick this crystal up, we'll see that we're at size 547. So we've already increased the size of that guy. So I think what we're going to want to do is fly up here and get, let's see, it's just nighttime. I'm going to start, boop, 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 place those resonating gems in there. They're going to produce a lot of liquid starlight, which is going to be great for us. Um, I'm wondering if I can get like an even better tank at this point. Like what's the best tank I have access to? Because I'd love to store a lot of this starlight and make sure not to lose it. Uh, so 256, which one's tin? Tin was 64, so iron's your next tier. That's elite crafting. It just needs some iron plates, a diamond team plate, and some hardened, does it have to be hardened steel? It does, but that doesn't look too bad. That's not bad at all. We can pull that off. Um, bronze is 512. And that's basically the same recipe, but it needs some enchanted plates. But enchanted, oh, and empowered diamond team. Uh, that's not great. All right, let me make an iron tank, I think. I think that's what we're going to want. That'll hold 256 buckets, which should be a lot of liquid starlight, right? Like, that's a lot of liquid starlight. Uh, so let's get some iron plates, right? That much seems like, uh, actually, that's pretty darn close to what we need. Right, advanced crafting? Yeah, we only need like three more. That's pretty good. Okay. And we'll need diamantine, hardened steel glass, and glass. Okay. Diamantine. I can put all this stuff away, by the way, because we don't really need them anymore. So we've got some hardened, let's get some steel dust, pulverize that up, and then you'll go into the induction smelter to make hardened steel glass. So exactly how much hardened steel glass do I need for this? One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, and fifteen. Not too shabby. You can see I've been uh, making some ruby dust between episodes so I can get more chrome that was needed for those coils, uh, yada 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 to do process all that bauxite dust that I made. And sweet, hardened steel glass. Nice, you're getting me some glass. We need a diamond team plate. We have one. So at this point, the only thing we're missing for that iron tank is the hardened steel glass. Nice. So what I'm gonna do, all right, so then into that, let's get some pipes, you. Let's get this thing. Where's my configurator? Cool. Yay, more rich slag. How are you doing? Keeping up? Not too bad. Draining a lot of power. How's my RF production doing? That's a good question. Not even breaking a sweat. Love it. Love it. We're doing pretty good on RF gen. Even though it's nighttime, by the way, we're doing really good on RF gen. I'm just saying. All right, so we're getting there. One more iteration and we should be cool. And that should be everything we need to make the iron tank. Then the iron tank is what we'll use to start filling up uh, for our liquid starlight. And we can just swap back and forth between that and the iron. Fair deal? Sweet, we've got an iron tank. And away we go. Nice, so you guys are still collecting all your starlight. You've got 42 buckets at this point, 43. So I'm gonna replace you with that. And then down here, we'll get this liquid starlight automation a little bit 
set up, right? So what we're gonna want is this with the tin tank and set the configurator to pull. And that should keep this thing full of fluid until we run out, obviously, uh, but we can do something about that. Yeah, yeah, we can probably do something about that to fully automate it further. And then how are you doing, buddy? You're at 767, neat, okay. So I wonder if there's some kind of item counter. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm doing a bunch of converting here because while I'm waiting for that crystal to grow, uh, I figured now might be a good time to, you know, see if I can make the master infusion crystal, right? Like that might be doable for us right now. And if I could get that going, it would make my life a heck of a lot easier, right? So I think that's what I'm working towards. Not terrible, not terrible. 32, we're actually really close. Okay, that's really close. Uh, let me do a little bit more of these. Maybe three. Let's get four stacks, does that sound cool? Okay, and that'll get you going. That'll get you going. And that'll get you going. Not quite. 36, I think that's what I need. Four blocks of Supreme Essence, perfect. All right, so let's take a look at what's involved in making uh, the Master Infusion Crystal, right? Uh, we need some star metal ingots, not a problem. Void stone, not a problem. Inert blood iron, not a problem. Four blocks of Supreme Essence, I just made it. Block of mana diamond, not a problem, I don't think. Maybe a few more diamonds, but that shouldn't be a problem. See, not a problem. Did I say that enough? Uh, what else do we need? Because I think we can do this, and that will definitely lead towards a much better time with this whole setup, right? So that's cool. I would love a Master of Crystal. Crystal. Uh, Tritonite, which is a combination of things we already have. I know that for sure. It's Cobalt and Terax. So three Cobalt, two Terax. We'll make a Tritonite. Um, and Terax is Ovium, Joxum, and Carmesine. So we can totally make that. Uh, for Tritonite. Then we need one of each rune, and that's about it. I think we can totally do this. Do we have void stones? We we need more, but yeah, not terrible. What goes in the center there? Ah, compressed obsidian. And that'll get me four of them? That should be a problem. Boop. And it's the this one, right? Rune. Why do they all look the same to me? I think it's that one. Yeah, that's what's cooking. Right? So yeah, we're getting there. Uh, star metal, we should have four of, not a problem. Okay. Uh, fractum. We have, we just happen to have two fractum chilling, right? Two tritonite ingots and four blood iron. Blood infused iron ingot? That's from blood arsenal. I think that's different blood iron. We might have to go hunting, we'll see. Ah, we gotta get a little bit more. Not a big deal, though. Uh, let's get that Fractum, or, or not the Fractum, the Tritonite going. Tritonite. Uh, so we're gonna need two Cobalt and three... Um, well, well, I'll land a two, right? So two Cobalt ingots and... Th no, two Terax, three Cobalt. Let's go with six, right? And then we'll need four Terax, right? And Terax fluid is, we get two for one of each, right? Right, so I want uh, four, so we're gonna want two of each. Two of each, Carmesine, Ovium, Joxum. Carmesine, Ovium, Joxum. All right, it's raining, but we'll make this happen. So in theory, we mix all this up and we should get the Tritonite that we want. Cool. Back in a minute. Okay, Tritonite. Woo! -hoo. One. That got us four, by the way, because remember I doubled it. Hey, good news, everyone. Uh, my Celestial Crystal split. Yay! So it must have hit max size and then split. When it splits, it'll create two crystals. One that's the same purity as the last one, and another one that has a chance at having a higher purity. 
and their sizes will both be very small. So what we're going to do is we're going to take now our 98% pure crystal and pop it in the pool. Nice. And I want to take my magnet off for a little bit uh, because that's going to that's going to that's going to mess this whole shebang up. But 98% looking good. Boom. So let him grow to the point where he splits, and that's awesome, right? Meanwhile, uh, I think I just need a rune of summer and or, or a rune of air. Rune of air. No summer. Summer is that what I need? No air. Air, not summer. Air. Uh, and two more inert blood iron ingots, which we might be able to have because I went a little, a little bit of fighting between uh, cuts there. Went out at night and got those two guys. Nice. All right. So literally just a rune of air now, and that's it. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, that is awesome. All right, so I think I've got everything I need for an air doohickey. Though it's nighttime, and that's, you know, traditionally speaking, a bad time. Hey, there we go. That's cool to be doing this kind of thing. Now, are you getting mana? No, we still don't have that set up properly because we're geniuses. Living rock, boom. Back to work. All right, so that should be the rune of air that we need, which means this is a master infusion crystal. Booyah! That's what's up. Dudes, that is actually really nice to have right now. Uh, that is super awesome to have right now. Thank you. I appreciate that. So that means we can do all kinds of good stuff. Like, I wouldn't mind some Inferium tier 3 seeds, right? So basically, like, wow, I use a lot of Inferium for that, but that's okay considering my plan, right? Because um, we have a lot of Inferium, right? We shouldn't have a problem dealing with that too much. Inferium. So we've got some Tier 1 seeds. Let's upgrade a few of these if we can. I wouldn't mind. Because we've got a handful of seeds going on over here. What do we got? We got Electrotine. Okay, cool. We've got Copper. Sweet. We've got Coal. I've got seven Imperium on me right now. Now how many do I have? Fifteen? I feel like a smart move here. Let's like try and be organized about this, right? So seven would be the whole line, right? No, eight. Eight? No. How far is the line there? First off, let's take a nap. Because monsters are bad. Monsters are super bad. Hooray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so it's nine in a row. So that's actually kind of perfect. And that makes sense with what I did. So these are all Imperium Tier 1 seeds, right? So what I want to do is essentially that. And then what I want to do is essentially that. So we're short maybe a little bit, but I think we should be cool. Yeah, just a little bit more. I need like this many. Sweet. And that should be a quest complete for me now, right? Double cool. And that got me an extra one to be fair. Nice. Okay. So now you want Supremium Essence, right? To unlock that. Uh, actually, oh, you want a tier three crafting seed first. Okay. So you need a tier two crafting seed, which is a tier one crafting seed. So that, tier one crafting seed. Right. Tier two crafting seed. Tier three crafting seeds. Need more dilithium? And some blocks. So I need more of this. Yeah, you can burn up the last of that. Cool. Getting a little low on the Inferium, but don't worry. This is all coming to fruition. This is my plan. Right? Okay, so two of these. Tier 3 crafting seed now just needs dilithium, which guess what? I made more than the one I needed before. Hi, zombie. Oh, hi, creeper. Oh, you're a big zombie. 
All right, dilithium, yay, I've got a few more chilling in there. I'll get them out later. See, I hate I hate the sound, the muted sounds thing killing me. I need to do something about that. But there's your tier three crafting seed, which is cool. Okay, sweet. And now you want Supremium Essence. Uh, this will unlock Mystical Agriculture tier four. So how much of this stuff do I need? Four of them? Okay, not a problem. Sweet. I like it. Another tier three crafting seed. I got me a bunch of stuff as a matter of fact. So I got that, I got more Supremium Essence. What else did I get from that? Mystical Fertilizer, Supremium Ingot, and a Legendary Loot Bag. Nice, nice, nice. A legendary, something good? Jeweled Sword, Knockback 3, Fire Aspect 3. And damage, okay, neat. Can you, okay. I mean, not terrible. It's from Dungeon Tactics. Damage dealt 26 though. I mean, that's interesting. Is that how much damage it's dealt in total? Oh, that's how much damage it's dealt in total. Its actual attack damage is seven with a 1.6 attack speed. So yeah, my manual and sword's better. For a minute there, I thought that was a really good sword. And then I realized, wait, it came from a loot bag. How good could it be? The answer's not very. By the way, speaking of, yes, I have a stack of platinum. Hooray, quest complete, platinum war. Forget where that was. It was in here somewhere. There was a reason I wanted that. Platinum boots. Yeah, give me those. That sounds cool. So right now I've got Depth Strider and Multi-Jump. These have Frostwalker 2. It's definitely better armor, so that's a thing. And I suspect Frostwalker means I'm going to create ice under my feet? Yeah, it does. Well, that's kind of nifty. I'm not sure if I like that or not. And I'm assuming that will eventually remelt, right? Oh, and it melts quickly, too. Frosted ice. That's cool. I kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. That might be annoying, though. I wonder if I can disenchant that. There's the disenchanter and the lens of disenchanting. Well, that doesn't look too bad. A lens and an enchantment table. I assume that's going to... From an enchanted item to either a book or an already enchanted book. Sweet. That might be a thing we make at some point. I can just imagine, like, I'm going to go downstairs and you're going to freeze my water. Exactly like that. That was my exact concern. Not that it's the end of the world if that happens, but still. Um, hey, I got another legendary loot bag? Oh, probably, oh, Vial of Adrenaline. Sweet. Okay. Nice. So the reason I'm doing all this is just getting Mystical Agriculture ready for what I want to do, right? Because here's the plan. I'd like to, if I can, make some really good Mystical Agriculture plants to be able to make Mystical Agriculture one of my main ways of getting resources, especially the ones that are hard to get, right? The problem that I have right now is gold. Like, dude, really though? Really? So I need a tier four gold seed, right? Um, so it's gonna be like, it's not terrible. It's probably not that terrible. Terax and her blood, I can make that. That's not too terrible. Dianite we've made, right? So that's cool. All right, so by completing Supremium Essence, we unlocked Mystical Agriculture tier two, which needs Inferium tier four seeds. I just need one set. So do I have enough to make one set of those? I do, nice. I even have enough to make two sets to be fair. But I'm gonna hold off because I'm getting a little low on Inferium. We've been building Inferium Essence for like weeks now. Um, but using slow seeds, we're going to make this way faster and we're going to have way more Inferium available to us very quickly, which is going to be super cool, right? Um, so that's cool. Claim reward, lots of junk, right? More tier four Inferium seeds, more stuff. Nice. Um, with that said, we branch out into like tier four crafting seeds, which, you know, a little bit of effort, but I'm not quite ready to make that right now. And I would love to get gold seeds because that's, um... Of course, not one of the quests, but gold seeds is what is what you get out of tier four. Okay, fair enough. Supremium arrows tier four. Ooh, that's cool. That's neat. Okay. Well, those might be cool. I get the feeling that might be cool. And that gives me 12 of those arrows. I wonder how good they are. I wonder how much damage they do. Hmm. Gives debuffs. Blindness, slowness, poison, and weakness. I like it already. I struggle to see how it's going to be better than, for example, my laser, but maybe. You never know. Plus, arrows are pretty cool. Lasers are fun. Arrows are also fun. We'll see. Um, so that's Mystical Agriculture, like, foundational 
stuff, right? I happen to have three. So anything here of interest that I would like to have tier three? I already made Electro Teen seeds, didn't I? I feel like I did. Was it Electro Teen like the one that was like super hassle and I made because I needed to? I thought I thought I did because I've got Electro Teen essence, right? Did I get that as a quest reward? Where did that come from? Coal, copper, and Electro Teen. Yeah, buddy. Quest complete Electro Teen seeds. All right, nice. And then Electro Teen essence. Cool. And then Electro Teen alloy ingots. Look at all these quests we're completing. Like a boss. All kinds of junk that we don't need right now. But it's all good dough and all kinds of nonsense all right so now what i want to do let's see is there anything else i need dark gem seeds huh silicon seeds sulfur glowstone blizz some of these might be useful doing right uh fire glowstone skeleton creeper spider rabbit so some mob seeds come out of tier three blizz blitz basalts and biotite sky stone tier four crafting iron nether quartz redstone none of this jumps out at me as being like a need for a lot of right uh maybe at some point but like i'm just thinking like what am i low on right now and would really like more of right a lot more of right ardite electro teen steel leaf ironwood black quartz dark gem nothing jumping out at me like i need this i don't need any of this i'm cool with with what i got so i'm not going to worry about using these right now i'm going to put them away uh, but we might use them to make tier four seeds because tier four is where we get into things like gold, lapis, you know, some other things that we might want. Gold is like at the top of my list of I keep using and don't have nearly enough of. So now what I'm going to do, right, is you're a tier one and you're a tier one. So I'm going to replace you with tier fours, right? And then these are all tier threes. I'm going to run them this line. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that will help that go. What I'm going to do between episodes is continue this growth. Oh, we have two again? Nice. 99 purity and 98. Oh, man, you're killing me. That stinks a little bit. I mean, we're there. It made an improvement. It just wasn't a great improvement. Like, I've seen you I've seen you gain, like, way more than one percentage point. I think I've seen you gain, like, significantly more than one percentage point. So I want that 100% purity. Because what's going to happen is, once we hit 100% purity, we can start splitting those, and we'll always get two 100% purity crystals. And that'll be awesome, right? Um, so I'm going to let that thing do its thing. Um, and I think we'll come back next episode. Uh, hopefully have a 100% purity crystal, or maybe even more than one. And then I'm going to start growing them to the point where I can like make perfect, perfectly sized and cut and everything crystals. Then we're going to work on Astral Sorcery and make a growth ritual that will make this area grow way faster. Okay. And once we have that going, uh, I think it will be pretty cool. I'll probably wind up removing some of the canola seeds because canola is great, but it's kind of like my third tier of, of production at this point. And we're probably way overboard on the amount of canola that we've got going on here like we've got tons and tons of canola and we don't need all that much right we're not really using these power plants all that much at this point our main power is coming from solar and ethylene so we'll probably cut back on the canola seeds and start doing more mystical agriculture seeds and that'll be cool right so those are our plans over the next couple episodes right astral sorcery to make mystical agriculture growing faster for now Delta 20 signing off hope you enjoyed the episode take it easy